up, y'all? My name is Barbara Ashley. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome to part three of my lace wig series. Today, I'm going to be showing y'all how I make my frontal wig, so let's get started. Here's what you'll need. You'll need a frontal. I'm using a 13 by 6 frontal, also with four bundles. All the details regarding this hair will be listed down below in the description box. You're also going to need a mesh dome cap, a tail comb, scissors, a bunch of needles, thread, and T-pins. I threaded all of my needles and poked them into a spare foam head that I had just to make sure that I can easily switch out needles as I run out. You'll also need a canvas block head. I'm using the size 24 inches because I have a fairly large head. And I'm also using an extra large mesh dome cap. And here I'm just putting on the wig cap onto the head and making sure that the lines are aligned with it just to make sure that your frontal and all your wefts are sewn on properly and straight. This allows me to make sure that I'm paying attention and making sure that everything is cohesive and aligned with each other. Now I'm just showing you the back and I'm just adjusting it to where the V shape meets down the middle line of the canvas block head. Now I'm just braiding down the hair to keep it out of the way to make sure that I can sew down the frontal properly. Now you're just going to grab your frontal making sure that it is completely in the middle of your canvas head with at least a half inch in front of the mesh dome cap. Make sure that you're pinning it down to where the back of the frontal is completely flat against the cap. You want to make sure that the back is completely flat because that's where your head is, where it's going to lay on your head. You want to make sure that it's completely flush to the cap. I cannot stress that enough. You want to make sure that it's completely F-L-A-T, okay? With all of the wigs I have made, I still have trouble with this step. I don't know why, but you know, it's a learning process. Maybe one day I'll get better. With all the wigs I've made for people, it's still, it's still some trouble. You see me trying to grip the head as hard as I am. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's, I, get, I still have trouble dealing with it. All right, so let's get started. I have my frontal flush up against the mesh dome cap. Now I'm just gonna start from the middle of the frontal and sew my way down on either side. So this is the knot I like to do while sewing my wigs. It's called the, bo the bullion knot, I think it's called. You push, the you push the needle through the mesh cap and the frontal, then you grab the thread and wrap it around the needle one to two, one to three times. Sometimes I do four if I really want nothing to move and then I pull the needle through so where it tightens along the way and then you don't have to worry about loose threads. So as you can see, the thread wasn't even as I was pulling it through, so I just made sure to quickly unravel it, loosen the thread and pull my finger through to where it evens out the thread to make sure that there's no like loop. Here's a close up. As you can see, I'm putting my finger through the knot just to make sure that there's no loops left behind and then pulling it secure. So I'm just going to do this as I go along down the side of my frontal just to make sure that it is fully secure.
as you can see i'm reaching the elastic band of the mesh dome cap and i don't want to sew through it you want to sew through the top layer which is the mesh just to make sure that your frontal is both secure but you're also not stretching out the elastic of the uh, wig cap And I apologize for the shakiness. The wake stand gets on my nerves all the time. I'm sorry for my big head being in the way. All right, so now it's time to sew down the wefts. I have my wefts here, as you can see, we are stretching it out. We are leaving it to where it's double wefted. We don't wanna do single wefts when we're starting out. I mean, if you want it to be like a bit more thin, then you would do single wefts, but I want, I like my hair full and voluminous. So now I'm just going to push, I mean, I'm just gonna grab my weft and make sure that it is up against the frontal. And then I'm going to sew through the loop of my weft and into the frontal so where it's secure and it completely, like the wig, every part of the wig is attached to each other. So now I'm just sewing the west through the mesh part of the elastic band. I'm not sewing through the actual elastic of the wig cap, just to make sure that I'm not stretching out the wig cap at all. Ryan Little. <laughs> I am doing the fold over method while making my wig just to make sure that there's no shedding. All I'm doing is just folding the track over to the other side of the wig cap, pinning it down, and then sewing through the weft to make sure that it's completely flat against the wig cap. Also take note that I'm not sewing through the weft every single time. The only time I sew through the weft is when I'm attaching it to the frontal or making sure that I'm like, when I'm running out of thread, I make sure that I'm sewing through the weft to make sure that the track is actually secure to the wig cap. What I'm doing here is just sewing under the weft and through the wig cap. Okay, so you've reached the end of your bundle. Now it's time to attach another bundle. What I like to do is make sure that I'm on the folded side of the new bundle, sewing through the weft onto the other side of the bundle that is running out through the mesh cap, wrapping around, making sure I'm not cutting out my thread because you want to make sure that the thread is still connected, making sure that I'm wrapping, doing the bullion knot three times and pulling my needle through. So now I'm just going to continue sewing down the tracks until I reach the top. You'll see like random spurts of water being sprayed onto the hair. It's just to make sure that the hair gets out of my way while I'm sewing the wig down. Ryan Little. <laughs> Thank you.
Brian Little. Japan. <laughs> All right, so I reached the top of the wig. So here I'm cutting, I haven't cut any bundles up until this point, but I am going to start now, just so that the wig can lay as flat as possible. So what I've done is measure out the weft to where it fits in that space, not cutting the thread that is already secured to the bundles, but sewing it through just to make sure that the wig is as flat as possible and going up until I reach the top of the frontal. So now I'm at that little gap between the frontal and the last weft. I'm taking my last piece of hair and sewing it onto the frontal so that there's no more gaps within the wig cap. All right, so I've unraveled the braids, sprayed some water so she looks a little bit more settled, and here's the final look. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for part five where we highlight this bad boy, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.